The Order of Time by Carlo Rovelli is a philosophical and scientific exploration of the nature of time. Rovelli, a theoretical physicist, presents a complex tapestry of how we understand time, blending physics, art, and philosophy. He delves into the ways in which human perception of time differs from its physical reality. Ravelli begins by deconstructing the idea of time as a universal and constant flow. He explains that the concept of a universally ticking clock, independent of external factors, is contrary to what has been revealed by the theory of relativity. According to this theory, introduced by Albert Einstein, time is relative and its passage is affected by variables such as gravity and speed. For instance, time moves slower in the proximity of a massive object like Earth, than it does in the emptiness of outer space, and it also slows down as one approaches the speed of light. This variance in the flow of time challenges the notion of simultaneity. Events that appear to occur at the same time from one perspective may happen at different moments from another. Furthermore, when we approach the scale of quantum gravity, the traditional structure of space-time as a smooth continuum breaks down. At this minuscule scale, space-time is understood to be granular, made up of tiny atoms of space and time. This implies that time may not be a fundamental component of the universe at the smallest scales. The very fabric of space and time is built from entities that are themselves devoid of temporal qualities. Rovelli also emphasizes that the past and the future are not entities with physical existence in the world. They are merely reflections of our partial understanding. The past is a structure of our brain, a record of memory and experiences, while the future is a set of expectations or predictions. These are constructed narratives formed based on our brain's processing of information. Consequently, the idea of the flow of time is an illusion. Only the present is directly accessible to us. The concept of entropy, a measure of the disorder within a system, plays a crucial role in understanding time's arrow, the idea that time moves in a singular direction from past to future. Rovelli explains that the laws of physics are fundamentally time-reversible. However, the second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy in a closed system tends to increase, gives time a direction because the process of increasing disorder is not typically reversible. This increase of entropy is associated with the temporal direction in which we remember the past and not the future. Rovelli also discusses the notion of time in the context of human experience and consciousness. Psychological time, the subjective sense of time, is formed by our interactions with the world and the workings of our mind. Memory, attention, and the continuous stream of consciousness generate our perception of time. He argues that time is layered and that these layers move at different speeds, a multifaceted concept rather than a single uniform entity. Moreover, Rovelli contemplates the relationship between time and the cosmos. In cosmology, there is a tension between the timeless equations that describe the universe as a whole and the time-dependent quality of the phenomena within it. He explores the possibility that at the birth of the universe, during the Big Bang, time may have emerged from a primordial, timeless state. The physicist also delves into the nature of self in relation to time. He posits that the self is a process, always changing, never the same from moment to moment, and that it is intimately connected to time. We are made of the same atoms and particles that have existed for eons, continuously flowing and transcending the boundaries of individual organisms. Thus, personal identity is dynamic, changing with time, with no clear separation between an external flow of time and our internal perception of it. Finally, Rovelli touches upon the philosophical and existential ramifications of our latest scientific understanding of time. He reflects on the implications of a world without absolute time, a world where time is a multifaceted, layered phenomenon tied to perspective and context. The author uses poetic and often contemplative language to illustrate the beauty and the mystery of the universe's temporal dimensions. The book challenges readers to discard their traditional notion of time as a single stream that flows uniformly for all observers. Rovelli invites us to appreciate the intricate complexity of time and to recognize the limitations of our perception in grasping its true character. He does not claim to have all the answers, but rather shares the intellectual joy of probing deep questions about the nature of reality. 
The order of time is an invitation to think about time in a new way, taking into account the most advanced scientific insights while also acknowledging the persistent enigmas that time presents. Through his work, Rovelli offers a sense of wonder at the universe's majesty and complexity, encouraging a sense of philosophical inquiry into the nature of existence itself. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.